Hello and welcome to another Sprues and Brews unboxing. Today we're having a look at the Chaos Space Marines Accursed Cultists for Warhammer 40,000. Uh, first of all I want to say a massive thanks to Games Workshop for sending us an early review copy for free to have a look at and share with you guys. Uh, yeah, really excited to open these guys up. We saw the release of the Chaos Space Marine Codex a couple of weeks ago and today all the various new kits from that book are up for pre-order and we've got videos of them as well. We've got the, the Possessed, we've got the Cultists and we've got the Dark Commune. So there's videos up for them today as well. Uh, I've also done an article with all of the videos together in one post uh, with some images of the sprues and the painted models and stuff. So yeah, check that out if you are interested. But yeah, this is the, the Accursed Cultists. So this is the new unit that was added to the Chaos Space Marine book and it's a, a kind of a mixed unit of five small guys and three big guys. And you can double up on that if you want to as well to so have a squad of ten little guys and six big guys. And their gimmick is basically they kind of regenerate. Uh, they've got a six plus wound shrug and every turn you get back either one big fella or three little fellas. Um, and they look grotesque. They're beautiful. I really, really like them. I am very much looking forward to uh, getting some paint on these. So in this video what we're going to have a do... So in this video what we're going to do is have a look at the sprues, have a look at the assembly instructions, see how they go together, see if there's any options and stuff on these kits. Uh, and then at the end of the video what I'm going to do is jump ahead to the future and hopefully we'll have a couple of these built and painted so we can show you guys what they look like in the flesh. So yeah, without further ado, should we crack these open and have a look at what they look like inside? So, if we open this up, we have got... Uh, instructions we'll put to one side for now. It looks like we've got five 25mm bases for the cultists and then two, three terminator size bases for the bigger cultists. And then it looks like it's split over three mini sprues. So let's have a look at each of these and see what is on here. So, gotta say, when they revealed all the new Chaos Space Marine stuff, uh, it was this kit that really caught my attention. Just because they're so, so weird and grotesque. I'm kind of a little sad that you can't do a full cultist army in the book. And I really hope that in a supplement book in the future uh, we get the option of doing a full cultist army because I think that'd be I think that'd be really quite fun to do. Um also we've got the other cultist kit that is up for pre-order today as well. Um which is an interesting one. It, well, watch that video because it is an interesting one and for um completionists you might want to pick up the Blackstone Fortress cultist box as well. Uh, but yeah, more details on that in the actual cultist video. These guys look glorious though. They're so weird looking. Yeah, really, really like them. So yeah, looking forward to getting them built and get some paint on them. Uh, before we do that though, what we'll do is have a quick flick through the instructions and just see kind of what options we've got in this set. I don't think that there's many. I think a lot of these are fairly kind of mono build. So, oh, it's a trifold one, let's open that up. So yeah, looking at this, um, it doesn't look like we've got any different options for each of the uh, the different mutants. So if you did have a unit of 16 of them, you are going to be doubling up the sculpts a little bit. Now obviously you can convert those up and pose them, but that might matter for some people. They look weird enough that they'd look cool as a big unit anyway. But yeah, um, relatively few pieces for the little guys. The big guy looks a little bit tricky. Looks like you've got some manoeuvring to do to get the piece through the back of it. Again, once I've built it at the end of the video, I'll report on um, how it was to go together. But yeah, they don't look too bad, to be honest. They look quite straightforward. And I think these are going to be really, really fun to paint up. So let's jump to the future and see what they look like assembled and painted. And here's a look at the completed Accursed Cultists. Now, due to some vagaries of the warp, I'm filming this bit quite a little while after I did the original unboxing. I think these have been hit with some uh, shipping delays, but they are finally up for pre-order now. And I've got to say, guys, it is well worth the wait. This is one of my favourite kits in the, uh, the Chaos Space Marine range. I'm going to just move these guys out of the way and we'll have a look at these individually because they are really cool and characterful models. So you get the three big uh, torments I think they're called. These uh, basically where the poor possessed cultist has had a demon 
rip themselves out of the body and uh, yeah these are great fun to paint up and what we'll say if you've got kind of a big squad of them um they are kind of like they only build one way so you might want to convert them up if you've got a squad of multiples or at least paint them different ways so they look different but um yeah these are these are really really fun to paint up and look really weird so you've got that one we get this guy big chunky looking fella Again, it's um, a lot of this is is, is contrast and, and glazing. Um, they were they were relatively quick to paint up, um, and I'm sure I could go back and add some more detail to them. But yeah, he's really cool. You then get I like this one as well, the kind of weird kind of like bat winged one. He's really creepy looking. Uh, what I like about all these models, as you can see, the original human is kind of on all three of these models but obviously the uh, the demons kind of ripped out of them so there's not much of the uh, the poor human left just kind of hanging on there and then you get the five kind of guys who are kind of on the path to damnation but they haven't quite got there yet so they're starting to show some like signs of mutation and weird stuff happening but they haven't quite got to a uh, massive demon erupting out of their body yet but they are well on the way so many weird like tentacles and grizzly bits on these models really really fun so you got that one we've got this one here who's kind of like you can't really see on this the kind of throats opening up into a massive kind of like maw and again all sorts of spikes and tentacly bits poking out there's this one i really like kind of big claws coming out of him yeah really really cool models and then finally, we have my um, favourite one with a kind of like octopus growing out of him, and there's all kind of weird eyes and stuff. Yeah, the pretty, the pretty grisly looking model. So yeah, they're really really fun. So if we bring them all in for a group shot, uh, yeah, really really nice kit. It was a joy to paint it up, and I think people will have a lot of fun doing these. Um, I think that you'd probably get away with using the uh, the Gellapox as well from um, Kill Team to, to pad out your unit. I think you get three big kind of guys on the same size base and you get a couple of like plague bearery looking guys. So I think with them you could probably pad out the um, the squad. So definitely worth a look anyway. But yeah, really, really fun. Um, so yeah, again, massive thanks to Games Workshop for sending us this. A little early to do a review of and paint it for the video. I've also done a companion piece to this article over on sprucesandbrews.com with some pictures of the sprues and, and some better shots of the painted models. Uh, and yeah, we've also got up for today the Possessed and the Chaos Demons Codex as well. So we'll have videos and reviews for all those up as well. So uh, yeah, if you're into all things chaotic, then uh, stick around for those too. Uh, if you have enjoyed the video, uh, why not subscribe, give us a follow. Uh, we do lots of unboxings and battle reports and painting videos and that kind of thing. Um, if you would like to support the site as well, we've also got an affiliate link with Element Games. So if you order through there, we get a little bit of a kickback, which helps uh, run the site and uh, you know pay for all this so yeah again thanks a lot for watching the video um if you do pick these up let us know how you paint them i'd love to see how everyone else uh, gets to work on these and yeah have a great weekend see you soon